Hey, er hey everybody. Uh, I can't switch back and forth to selfie mode to this, so I'm just showing. This is Tisha's first day at school, which is due to a paperwork snafu. Uh, she is not registered for so we are sitting here waiting for the advisor. And I'll just let you see what it's like in a first grade class in the Philippines, which nothing is actually going on yet. I think the class hasn't started. I'll just let the video run. And the woman in the doorway is the teacher. I was sitting here earlier, right here, and I moved my chair over here. This kid here, here came up and apparently I must be in his spot because he's kind of insistent on me moving out of the way. Just wait for a minute, sir, ha? Yeah. I just contact my co-ar, my co-kinder teacher. Oh, okay. Hopefully, her name is there. Okay. I guess they have a somewhat uh, regimented structure here for who sits where. Or I don't know. I had her sit in that chair there. It was the only one that didn't have a backpack on it. Trisha, put your head down. Somebody doesn't like her bag on the floor. I don't see any of the other bags on the table. This, uh, I think, is a mother, one of the students. And the woman here is a assistant to the teacher. August 29, but uh, there's a miscue on getting a phone call to Helen to tell us to be here. So she's not properly registered for the school. Now, unfortunately, Helen is having a lot of trouble with her breasts with them not draining. So she's, and they're quite painful. She's at home trying to get them to work. And the baby is still at um, the baby is still at um, the hospital. We're heading over there after this, but I have to be back here at 11 o'clock. So the class starts at 7 o'clock or 7:15. I got to double check that again. And I actually had this humongous. All the kids were on the other side of the building, all lined up. Uh, 
I think like doing the national anthem. Oh, there's another unhappy puppy. Oh wow, she looked a lot like the maid just stole the money. She's not. I thought, oh my god. <laughs> That'd be pretty dumb to come back to the Kong once you got 700,000 pesos. And one thing you're going to find here with uh, the legal system is it drags its feet like crazy. Maybe they are busy now. Huh? Maybe they are busy now. So oh, okay. Like I'll wait. Yeah, I really, really, truly expect that uh, John will never see that 700,000 again. Um, I believe she headed up to Cebu. She, we found notes where she left saying, I have got lots of money. Although it might have been a ruse, I don't know. I don't know if you were smart enough to uh, put something there that would throw people off. But uh, you pretty much have to take things down yourself. Uh, it's not like America where you put in a case and it just automatically gets sent out immediately. They had to wait 24 hours, uh, 48 hours, I think, before they could even put the case in, giving her a two-day head start. So, not a, not, a good, not a great system, it's what they have. Be aware of that if you come here, that, um, you know, if you get involved with the legal system, it, it takes a long, like, a good example is the bike. Uh, for John to, to start a case on his bike, he actually had to leave the bike at the police station so the case is resolved. Frankly, it wasn't worth that. The kid had no money. Uh, John's hospital bills were over 100000 uh, and uh, the kid ended up giving him $5,000, or a peso. Uh, it's more about what happened to John than, uh, you know, what money he's going to get for the bike. You know, that, the damages for his medical. He can afford that. And luckily he is uh, recovering pretty good uh, all in all, considering literally two weeks straight he couldn't even speak. And I thought he was stuck as a vegetable in the bed, but uh, he has actually driven his truck now. Uh, he scared his girlfriend to death doing it. Uh, I don't think he's alert enough to drive yet, but he did drive it one day. So hopefully uh, over time his uh, alertness will come up more and he'll be better. Well, it doesn't seem like that much is actually going on, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. And, uh, Catch you later, guys. Welcome to the Philippines. This is going to be your day to day coming in to drop your child off at a school. Make sure you're here. Alright, guys. Have a good one.